Okay, so uh, on the previous video, we have calculated some of the line integral for the scalar field and also for the vector field. Okay, so we what we have done on the previous video, uh, we do the co uh, computation on finding the work done, which is the formula is f dot dr, and some of the work done you got zero. Okay. And when you do the, when you do some calculation of the line integral, and you end up zero. And if you uh, notice, I mean, if you remember, on the first example that I gave you about the line integral, there is an example say that um, if you are starting in, uh, I mean, your initial and your terminal point is the same, and you end up on the same value. Actually, there is a reason why, as I mentioned before, uh, it depends on the uh, uh, vector function that you have. Okay. Um, what I mean here is, in order for you to okay, some some uh, vector function given to you or vector field given to you, they have a a, um, a special behavior. So the the special behavior here we call that as a conservative vector field. Okay. So, if you are given a vector field, so normally what you have to do is you have to check whether the vector field given or vector function given to you is a conservative vector field or not. If it is yes, then there are many, uh, uh, I, I mean, uh, there are many things that you can simplify in terms of you when you want to do the uh, line integral or you do the calculation. Okay? So in this case, how can you see that this that particular uh, vector function or vector field is conservative vector field or not? So there is a test that you have to do first. Okay. So in this case, we don't see that as a test, but uh, you have to uh, uh, if you you have to find out the potential function. Okay. So. Um, I mean, uh, first you have to do the test. So the test is the curl. Your curl, the curl of the vector field should be zero, and it if the curl, curl, the cross, the the grad cross, yeah, the grad cross F is zero, then you can say that the vector field is conservative vector field. Then if it is conservative vector field, then you can find the uh, potential function. If it is not conservative, so the pot potential function phi here does not exist okay so because of once uh, the vector function is a conservative vector function or vector field so we can see that um, the 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 potential function phi exists where the f given the vector field given is given by the gradient of the potential function okay so how can so now, uh, in order to understand that, so we, we look at the example 5.8 here. So, verify that the given vector field here is conservative. Okay, with the potential function phi is given. So, uh, from the example, example, so maybe example 5, I see. Yeah, this one, I think. Uh, example 5 right because this one is example 4 how can we, we verify the given vector field here is conservative when we can uh, uh, show that the gradient phi given the component of the gradient phi given is the same as the uh, component of the vector field given so now we have to find the gradient phi so the phi is given phi, phi here is a uh, scalar field for scalar function x squared y and the gradient here is the uh, vector operator del del x del del y del del z so in this case means that you have to do the partial derivatives x squared y respect to x respect to y and respect to z then when you do the the uh, partial differentiation so you got 2 x y and then uh, x squared and then 0. So you have 2xy x squared where it is the same as the the uh, the vector field f given. 
So then we can see that uh, the vector field F is conservative, is a conservative, conservative vector field. Okay. So you can, uh, you can, I mean, if F is a conservative vector field, then the gradient of the phi is the same as the vector field given. But normally in SM, they don't give you the phi. You have to find yourself. But there is a way for you to, can you, for you to determine the, uh, as given, the vector field given is conservative field or not by using the curve, the curve of F. So I will show you later. Okay, so before we proceed, there are some terminologies that you have to uh, uh, familiar with. Okay, so uh, because we know that the line integral will deal with the path. Okay, so the, the path is called closed path if your initial and the terminal point are the same. Okay, and then uh, the path C is simple, simple path if they don't, they don't cross itself. So I will say that um, if your path is you cross somewhere here, so this is called as not simple, but simple it just maybe circle or maybe uh, triangle because they don't cross each other, right? Open, open. So this is open, uh, open region. Um, yeah, open region means uh, you you have uh, maybe this one. Okay. The region D is open if it is doesn't contain any of its boundary point. So this is open. Okay. And uh, connected. Okay, I will show you uh, using a diagram for all this uh, terminology. Okay. So this one close and simple. Close. Close curve and simple. And this one is open. This open. Uh, open which is not close and also simple because they don't cross and it is close but not simple because it is cross here and this one is not close not close and also not simple because it is cross simply connected region means it is a uh, um okay simply connected simply connected if every closed curve in d and and close only points in d Simply connected region is one with no hole. So it is close and no hole. Close and no hole. But um, region, it is close but not uh, not simply connected because there is a hole here. Okay. So uh, for um, to deal with this particular topic, the thing that we are looking for is simply and connected region. So you have a closed curve and they don't cross each other, no hole. Okay. So now, how can you uh, test the vector field given is conservative vector field or not? So, uh, so this one is actually the uh, the the thing that you have to do is this one is actually uh, coming from the curl F zero. Curl F mean your grad cross F for the given. They must must give you the the vector field F must be given, and you do the curl. Uh, of the vector field and if you op can obtain that the answer is zero vector so you can see that f is conservative vector field if not so f is not conservative vector field okay so just uh, for uh, for for 2d so now this is example for 2d so now uh, we we'll get the now we have example 6 Okay, example 6. But for me, this example is very easy. And normally, in exam, you have more complicated version. Okay, example 6, where your f is um, x minus y, x minus 2. So, when you do the curl, so the curl of f, so i, j. Because you only have i and j, right? So, just tell them x, tell them y. 
x minus y x minus 2 so you just evaluate the cross product so you only have i cross k will give you k so del del x of x minus 2 minus del del y of x minus y okay so this is 1 minus negative 1 so you got 1 plus 1 end up to be 2 and since your curl f is not 0 0 0 so you must have uh, uh, 0 0 0 vector okay but this one there is it is not 0 so this is not conservative vector field okay when we talk about the two components here some of you might uh, confuse yourself um, whether we have to put the key component zero or not of course you have to okay now uh, let's say we we deal with the ig and, and k uh, so for ig and k so i put the ig and k but for the key component it is zero okay then i i do the the determinant three by three so now you can see that g cross k so this one is zero minus zero k cross i we give you j k i will give you j right so this one will give you zero minus zero and for i cross j del del x x minus two will give you one and del del y of x minus y will give you negative negative one so now your curl is zero zero two so the answer will be the same okay but this one you need the extra time to evaluate but this one you can just directly uh, find out that this one uh, i cross j will give you k so you will get the uh, the answer the k the k component directly but you don't you don't need to um, compute the x and y component because it is already because we understood this to be zero okay so now for example six here uh, the given f is not conservative vector field so um since it is not conservative vector field so we cannot find out the potential function so as we know that when f is a potential uh, uh, f is conservative vector field so we can write down the gradient of phi okay so this is where where the f is conservative f is conservative but if it is not so we cannot write down f equal to gradient phi if it is not not conservative so we cannot find the potential function of phi not conservative okay uh, this one is actually not equal to this one but if it is equal to that is for f conservative right Okay, so now we have another example. So here I consider that example 7. So now your, uh, the F given is um, 2XYZ uh, X square Z X square Y. So show that the f is conservative so you have to find the curl k i g k del del x del del y del del z 2 x y z uh, x square z x square y and then i del del x 2x y z okay so now we have to find the component uh, for each component so j k will give you i j cross k so del del y x square y minus del del z x square z K, K cross R will give you J del del Z 2XYZ minus del del X of X square Y. And then for component uh, uh, 
k or z so del del x so this one del del x del del x of x square z minus del del y del del y of uh, 2x 2xy z okay so now we look at what happened to the expression so x square uh, minus x square that is for y component uh, x component so y component 2xy minus 2xy okay and for k component uh, 2xy minus 2 um, 2xy so i have to check okay let me check first um okay da -da -da. okay this one is supposed to be z it's quite z This one will give you 2xz minus this one differentiate with respect to y also 2xz. And we obtain that the curl is 0, 0, 0. So we can com uh, conclude that f is a conservative vector field. So, yeah, if it is conservative, then find, find the scalar function, scalar potential function. So, how can we get the phi? As we know that when f is conservative, then we can write down f is equal to the gradient of phi. Okay, so now we want to get the phi. We want to, the aim is to get the phi. So, now, um, uh, meaning that, the component of the f and the component of the gradient phi they are should be the same. So what we can what what can we do is um uh, okay now I look at the component of f. Okay, the component of f. So now f is a vector, right? So what I can do here is just to show you that um, the component of f given by two x y z x square z and then x square y is equal to uh, what is gradient phi gradient phi is uh, phi x or del phi del x phi y that is a partial derivative del phi del y uh, phi Z. So then, phi x, phi y, phi z. So what what, what can we do here is, uh, uh, phi x, which is del phi del x, is equal to the component the component of this one. Okay. So this is two x y z. Okay. And we also can write down uh, phi y or del phi del y is equal to x square z. And then phi z is equal to del phi over del z is equal to x square y. So now your aim is to get uh, the phi only, not the del phi del x. This is differentiation. Or partial derivatives so how can you find out the phi from these three equations okay you have the del phi del x equal to 2x y z how can you have the phi from this first line of equation so you want to get only the phi so meaning that in order for you to get the phi where your phi is a function in terms of x y z is so what happens if you bring the integration, the, uh, sorry, this one differentiation you bring to the other side or you want to do the anti-differentiation, so we call that as integration. So you have to integrate 
the 2xyz with respect to with respect to now you have the differentiation with respect to x so you want to get the um, only fine then you have to integrate with respect to x dx and similarly this one you want to get the x y z you have to integrate your function here with respect to y so x square z dy and the third one when you want to get the x y z you have to integrate the function here x squared y with respect to okay, with respect to okay, sorry you can't see that with respect to z d z so what is the answer so look look at one by one so when you integrate this respect to x so this is uh, uh, indefinite integral so you must have a constant so you integrate respect to only x so x become x squared over 2 so you have x squared y z plus a constant because there is no limit there and the second one integrate respect to y so there is no y so you have x squared uh, y z plus b and the third one you have to integrate respect to z so no z here these are all constant so we have x square y z plus c and and now you have three three uh, result and you can see that they, they, they have a similar result for this you don't need to total up you don't need to total up so based on your result here you just take only uh, uh, one one expression because they, have, they are actually the same so we just take one of them so as I mentioned we are not totaling up so we just combine so meaning that because they are all the same so we just take only one of them so then we can say that as a whole your potential function or scalar function is x squared y z plus so a plus b plus c you have d okay a constant we have no idea what is the constant here uh, unless you have something maybe the initial point, point or terminal point that you can compute the, the the constant so as for now we just live in the in the constant form here this is constant d okay not zero okay so now uh i repeat we don't totaling them up i mean here if i'm i'm saying that total up so you this you will uh, uh total them so you got three right three x squared y z but the answer is not correct <clears throat> in this case you just take one of them because they are the same just take only one what happen if you total up when you total up when you total up and it, it will give you three x squared y z and what happen if you do a partial derivative you you can check your answer can, uh, is correct or not you can uh, after you got the potential function scalar function here you can do the partial fraction so differentiate this respect to x this will give you 6 6 x y z and y this will give you 3 x square z and for z this will give you 3 x square y so now you check with your uh, phi your your original phi is supposed to be this which is this one so are they do they the same do they the same so this one six x y z but this one just two and this one three this one one and this one also one but you got three so this is wrong not the same but look at here what happened if you just take one of the answer because they are the same just take one of them so you you got this and then you compute the phi x you got two x y z phi y and you got x square z and phi z you will get x square y and you compare your result here with the original uh, phi x or the gradient phi and the answer is the same right okay this one 2 x z 2 x y z and this one also 2 x y z and if this one x square z and this one also x square z and if this one is x square y and this one also x square. so that's why we don't total up if you total up and this is what happened here and where the answer is wrong because they are not the same 
They're meaning that you have just take one of them. But let's see, let's see your answer here. When you do the um, integration, so you obtain that your phi is, um, I just give a random example. So you got ln xy plus uh, 2x squared y. Okay. And then your second solution after you integrate, you obtain that uh, the answer is ln xy plus 2y. Okay. And the third one, you obtain that your solution is uh, maybe just uh, x. Just x. So, so then when you combine them all together, your phi here is, so you can see that this one is the same. Just take one of them. Ln xy plus, and this one, uh, this and this, they are different. So you just copy 2x squared y plus 2y plus. So that is the answer. And don't forget, uh, when you do the integration, you have the plus a, plus b, plus c, and this one plus d. Okay? We don't total up, but we combine. Okay, so that, that is for um, so the result here. Okay, so once you obtain that the um, the vector function is conservative vector field, as I mentioned before, there are so many things that you can simplify in terms of calculation. Then uh, for that you will, you can see that uh, you can see uh, from uh, you can see some example on the next few videos.